Boy, oh boy, this is indeed a sad one. Domestic violence is a no, no, no. Man, please find your mate to go fight, okay? If you're really strong and you feel like you want to box somebody up, go get someone that is as strong as you are and stop picking on your wives. Hello, Trending Gist lovers. Welcome back to the channel. And if you love Trending Gist, Celebrity Gossip World News, then don't forget to subscribe and also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. All right, so let's jump into the matter that is going on right now. So the leadership of Nigerian Union of Journalists, NUJ, Adamawa State Council, has condemned in strong terms an assault and battery of one of its female members, Nafesa Vandi hope i'm saying it right the mother of three and a staff of the news department adamawa broadcasting corporation yola was allegedly beaten to stupor i don't understand with all those photos and evidence why they are still saying allegedly but anyways okay let's 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 work with that was allegedly beaten to stupor by her husband malam ibrahim aliyu a sacked staff of phcn on wednesday the 17th of august 2022 mind you he's a sacked person okay this is so upsetting anyway let's keep going reacting to the incident in a statement on wednesday signed by its chairman ishaka donald dedan the union described the beating of a professional female practicing journalist as unacceptable wickedness and barbaric though the police has already swung into action in investigating and arresting the perpetrator of the the perpetrator of the domestic violence the nuj calls for a more speedy action toward the immediate arrest and prosecution of of the said malam ibrahim aliyu according to the law and constitution of the federal republic of nigeria the state uh, the statement read the union for the call on national and international organizations like FIDA, UNFPA, and UNICEF, as well as civil society organizations that are propagating a total halt on violence against women to step on the matter for justice to prevail. Now, this is a total no, no. It doesn't even have to. We cannot. Um, we're not even just going to say because she's a journalist. Be a journalist or not a journalist, a housewife or whatever. Putting your hands on your wife is a no, no. A domestic violence is a no, no. You can see the before and after photo of this lady. You cannot even recognize her. It looks like two different people. How can you beat somebody up to this extent? Her, you can see it seems like her arm is dislocated or broken. I don't know because you can see the white bandage wrapped uh, on one of her hands and her face is all swollen we don't even know if it was punches if he used something to beat her up how do you do this to somebody that you profess that you love i don't i don't even understand it and i feel like each country all over the world should try to put in a law they should pass a kind of law where people should be sentenced to to either life imprisonment or you know sentenced to death by hanging or something when they do things like this so men and women of course some women also put their hands on their husbands but i think it's more coming from the men but anyways we don't have the statistic yet but whatever the case may be whoever thinks that yes i'm going to put my hand on my spouse should get a very harsh sentence and i think that's something that all those people will learn from and whenever they want to put their hands on their wife or put their hands on their husband or put their hands on someone when they think about spending the rest of their life in jail or when they think about the sentence being dead by hanging or little injection or something very very harsh okay that's going to remind most of them that no that's not the path i want to go down and let's sit down and dialogue like adults, let's sit down and talk. Whatever the case may be, let's sit down as husband and wife and let us talk and trash out whatever issues we are having. What is this that people just 
every little misunderstanding they're putting a hand the other one beat the woman to death the other one strangled the, every day you go online you're seeing something evil osanachi's husband did the same thing now he's claiming no that's not what happened the other man beat his wife and strangled the wife to death what is going on man what is going on you want to fight go get a boxer or somebody that you know that can fight that's strong like you and box it out out there